Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, but if, welcome back to another video for uh, Petrichor Soap Company. I'm Mel, and today we are making uh, Old World, which is a tobacco and bay leaf scented soap. I really like the design for this one. Uh, really inspired by dark academia um, and sort of old European libraries with dark wood paneling and leather furniture, tweed suits and pipe tobacco. That's really what I kind of wanted to evoke with the design for this one. Um, it's a really simple bar of soap as, as a lot of my designs tend to be. It's going to be a very dark navy blue base, um, a simple top and then some um, botanicals sprinkled on the top. Um, I think the most interesting thing about this soap is the the color and a dark uh, navy blue can be difficult to achieve in soap. Uh, my secret weapon, or now not so secret weapon, is the Klein Blue Mica from uh, Nurture Soap, which can be a pain in the butt to get here if you're in Canada, but um, it's really worth it if you if you want that color uh, and then to that I add uh, just a little bit of black oxide and um, that gives me a, a navy blue color that I'm really happy with like a lot of dark soaps this one's definitely going to um, it can leave color behind uh, on your your bathtub or like where it's sitting on your your soap soap dish or what have you. I've never had any issue with that being permanent. It's just a matter of just wiping it off. But um, I can't say what your bath is made out of. Mine is mine is just uh, like a regular plastic or resin tub surround. I don't know what they make them out of, but. <laughs> I, I haven't had any issues, um, but it's kind of the trade-off for these really pretty deep dark colors. Um, I also wanted to go a little bit more masculine design for this one, though I, I really don't like to get into gender roles with my soaps. Uh, anyone can enjoy a soap and a scent and a design regardless of your gender. but. Um, there, you know, there are scents that we associate with feminine and masculine, feminine being more floral, masculine being more earthy and um, herbal, um, and this is definitely a not floral blend. This has a sort of rich, spicy uh, bay leaf, and then the tobacco, which can be uh, sweet. Um, it's just a really nice blend and it's a pretty classic blend. Uh, I think a lot of soapers will, will make one of these types of soaps um, over their soaping career. Um, I've been a little quiet here on the channel for the last few weeks, but that's been for good reason because I've had a couple weeks off of, of work, off of my day job and I really was devoted to just relaxing, letting myself unwind and enjoy some time off. And you can see my reflection in the soap there, hello. Um, but yeah, it's been, <laughs> the first week honestly was just me uh, unwinding and, and not doing anything, just figuring out how to not be in the routine of working every day. I did a lot of reading uh, caught up on some books that I've been wanting to read for a long time and that was that was really great I guess very fitting for making a soap that's kind of about old world libraries um, I hope you enjoyed your uh, holidays as well if you if you got time off or even if you didn't um, I hope at least there was something fun for you to do I uh, I'm really looking forward to spring now. <laughs> I think this is the hard part of winter when you don't have Christmas to look forward to anymore. Um, so now you're just in the no man's land, the dark times between 
the end of winter and then, and then the start of spring. And in uh, sort of central Alberta here, we don't see spring for a long time yet. But the nice thing about having a garden is that it gives me something to look forward to because I am going to start uh, seedlings soon. In fact, I have started um, my strawberries and my lavender. Um, and uh, I'm really looking forward. I hope the lavender turns out this year. This will be the first time, hopefully, that I've successfully grown it. Didn't turn out last year. Uh, I did have to let this sit for probably about 10, 15 minutes for it to thicken up enough to texture the top. It just happens sometimes. I really try to get things a little bit thicker before I pour them in the mold, but sometimes, especially with a fragrance oil like this one, it just behaves so well that it's hard to get it to a thicker trace. You're going to burn out your stick blender just trying to get it there. Uh, on top, I have some uh, really pretty poppy seeds. They're kind of like a blue-gray tone that complements the dark blue of the soap well, in my opinion. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some uh, dried nettle leaf. And I think I've talked about this one before, but I... I like nettle leaf because of it's a really bright, vibrant green when it's dried. I, I think it it's a pretty color and it, and it complements things well. And there are benefits to nettle leaf in skin care and hair care, but that's not really the purpose of it here. It's not really infused into the bar and it's going to um, it's going to wash off after the, the first use. Yeah, I really love this soap. This is one of my favorite soaps when it's freshly poured just because that blue so pretty when it's glossy and shiny. And here we go with the cut. So You'll see more when I show you the finish bar at the end, but um, I have been struggling so hard with soda ash this winter. When I used to make my recipe with palm oil, and, and I don't anymore, I very, very rarely had any issues with soda ash. But now that I've got a palm-free recipe, um, they tend to struggle a lot more, even in the warmer months, so it, it's not necessarily a temperature thing on its own. Uh, I do use a pretty significant water discount. Um, some soaps that I've made recently, they were at about a 35% water discount and still had a lot of soda ash on them. I don't think it's a fragrance oil issue because it happens with almost every fragrance oil that I use. and. Um, I've tried covering them before, like with some cardboard and a towel, and I still had it happen. <laughs> so uh, I also spray them with isopropyl alcohol, 99%. Um, I'm kind of out of ideas. I think the only thing I haven't done is used a heating mat or uh, done, um, done them in the oven, like... Uh, <laughs> Uh, a oven that you warm and then turn off and put them in there. I haven't tried that yet, so maybe that'll be my last, my last try. Uh, otherwise, I'm kind of out of ideas on what to do for the soda ash. It drives me crazy. I don't mind it on some bars. Some bars I like the look of, but these dark bars, um, it really does kind of ruin the effect of the top. Uh, and I do, I will. Um, use steam to get some of it off but even that doesn't make so much of a difference and there you can see it, it's pretty obvious uh, the soda ash on top I still think it's a beautiful bar of soap um, and happy with how it turned out but thank you so much for watching today um, and I hope you had a great holiday take care